The King of Starland is about to discover a long-lost legendary book that will redefine the whole meaning of bookkeeping. Too bad the king can't read. <laughs> Look at this one. Golf lessons, 200 monies. And this one, sausage makers to the throne, 300 monies. These are very big bills, aren't they, Grizzle? They sure are, Your Majesty. Only kings have bills as big as this, don't they, Grizzle? They sure do, Your Majesty. Well, that was great fun. Thank you. You've cheered me up enormously. You can throw them away now. Ain't you gonna pay him? Pay them? Whatever for? It's what most people do with their bills, Your Majesty. Well, I'm not most people. I'm the king. Come along, Grizzle. Do get a grip. If I paid all those bills, I wouldn't have any money left. What am I saying? I haven't any money now, so I'd have even less money. <laughs> Who are they? They're the people you owe money to. Oh. Well, don't just stand there. Go and explain to them. I haven't any money. Somehow, Your Majesty, I don't think they're gonna go for it. <laughs> Would they settle for a speech instead? I kinda think they prefer cash, Your Majesty. What are we going to do, Grizzle? My advice, Your Highness, would be to get a hold of some money, and fast. Good thinking. Excellent idea. You couldn't lend me a tenner, could you, just to tide me over? Wow. It's incredible. And it's never been opened, you say? The key has never been found. I sure would love to see inside it. I bet it's beautiful. Here it is, here it is. Must be worth quite a bit, wouldn't you say? Well, it's hard to say. I need to get it valued, of course. You're not gonna sell it, are you, Papa? Have to, my dear, to pay the bills. Right, well, the first thing to do is uh, move it. Give us a hand here, Altair, will you? If I arrange free transport, can I be there when the book's open? Why do you want to see it open? It's supposed to be very beautiful. That's so cute. Let me tell you something, Princess. I don't need to see it open. It's worth a lot of money. To me, that makes it beautiful. Okay, Your Majesty, let's call the guard and shift some book here. Careful, careful. That could be your wages you're carrying. Uh, uh, careful. One, two, two three. three. Hey, go easy, will you? Remember, Grizzle, I need a thousand big monies, so make sure you consult an expert before you sell it. Maybe we should take it to Gasho. Maybe you should shut your mouth. Trust me, Your Majesty, I know just the guy. Okay, Mr. Mew, shift yourself. Forward, ho! Uh-huh. Mm. So, what do you think, Doc? How much is it worth? What are you doing? I need to look inside. Doc, it's an antique. Very well. I'll use this, then. No! Grizzle, you want to know what it's worth, and I want to know what's in it. There's only one person to ask. Beautiful, isn't it, Gasho? Hmm, it certainly is. I'd be intrigued to know what's in it. Why does everyone want to know what's in it? It's old, it's big. Ain't that enough? So what's it worth, Gasho? Well, I'm no expert, but uh, you'd have to be talking, oh, a lot of monies. He doesn't know. The wise guy don't know. Why didn't he just say it? I don't know. 8,000 big monies, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, so now he comes up with... how much? Maybe nine. Nine? Did you say... Nine thousand big monies? For this piece of old junk? It's not junk, Grizzle, it's a book. Containing some very rare and valuable writings, I suspect. Who do you know that could open it, Gasho? And who do you know that will pay that kind of money for it? 
The answer to both your questions is the same. The curator of the great library of Absalom. I'll catch up with you. Aren't you coming with us? It's my Gretchen. She ain't been feeling well, and I ought to just check up on her. I'll see you twos in a while. <laughs> How much you say? A thousand big monies, Ma. That's an awful lot, Grizzle. I just need it till tomorrow, Ma. I'll pay you back. Well, mind you do. There you <laughs> are, Angel Face. Ma, use a star. Mwah! Ah, oh, my baby boy. A thousand big monies. Is that really what the book is worth, Grizzle? Got the money right here, Your Majesty. Tee hee, tee hee. I'm as rich as a king can be. <laughs> One thing, Majesty, let's keep this to ourselves, shall we? What a model subject you are, Grizzle. We'll just forget all about it. What do you say, Your Highness? Forget all about what, Grizzle? <laughs> <laughs> My hoes are killing me. Sorry to hold you guys up. Some business to see you. Hey, nice work, Mule. You okay? Good on you. All righty, let's go trade some books. Thank you, thank you. It's been so long, I never thought I'd see it again. Do you still have the key to open it? But of course. Right here. Hold on there, pal. Before we get into looking at pictures and artsy, artsy stuff, let's sort out the business side, shall we? Forgive me. I was getting ahead of myself. The total amount owing on this book would be... 5,000, 6,000, 8,000, 10,000, 12,000... 13,862 fat monies in total. Oh, yes! Sorry. Okay, pal, let's do the deal. What are you doing? Waiting for the money. What money? The money that you owe me. I don't owe you. You owe me. I don't owe you. You owe me. <laughs> Can you believe this guy? I returned his precious book, and he wants me to give him money as well. <laughs> give me the money for my book, pal. Sir, this is not your book. This is the library's book. It was borrowed... 52 years ago by the grandfather of our gracious and most royal king, and it is 52 years overdue and carries a fine of 13,862 fat monies for whoever returns it. If you please. Oh! <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair, not fair, not fair. What are you staring at? I ought to bulldoze this place and turn it into a theme park. Could I go get my friends? They'd love to see you open it. Of course, my boy. I don't understand, Grizzle. What book? The old one. The antique. The one you asked me to sell for you to pay all your debts. Oh, you mean the one you asked me to forget about and never mention again? Yes, yes, that's the one. Sorry, no, don't know what you're talking about. Uh, please, your highness, if you'd just allow me to begin at the beginning. The beginning? I love beginnings. This sounds like a story. We used to have a wonderful old book of stories. Don't know what happened to it, though. Lost it, I expect. <laughs> or some idiots hold it. <laughs> <laughs> the 
these are the tales of the starish people. Let all who are wise listen to them, and let all who listen to them become wiser still. Once, a long time ago, before a single starling had ever been born, all that existed of Starland was a big island which floated in space, and as it floated, it played a special song. <laughs> 